And we welcome you to Green Valley Stadium. AAA action coming at you on the show. It's the Syracuse Mets taking on the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. And now, your Lehigh Valley All right, Valley we'll be back to get Iron this one Pigs. started after this. Just about ready to go. Getting the nod that in this early. one, Francisco Morales. Yeah. And Singy, we were talking earlier yeah. about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance, and it hits the fence. And he's there with a double. He was all over that one. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. And now it's Mark Vientos. Hitless yesterday as they only pushed across one run. And the next pitch is way outside. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So a good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Swings and misses, struck him out. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. One down. Here's some real power at the plate. Jay Mack doubled in his first A.B. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Swing and a deep drive. This one's got a chance. Way back there. And boom goes the dynamite. He sends a rocket to left. His fourth home run of the season. It's 1-1. Well, he went up there 0-0 looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And now the DH, Jay Mack. He's already homered here in this one. He's sort of your typical power hitter. Wouldn't necessarily call him a three true outcome guy, but he's in there to hit home runs. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. Fans dig the long ball, bro. That one is absolutely belted. Bangs off the wall. Cut off, throw to second. Not in time, it's a double. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. Couple of doubles today for the DH. <laughs> Two on, one out. And yeah, the batter now, Mark Vientos. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. And that helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. That one missed. Two on, two outs. And that's ripped for a base hit. One runs in, the second run scores. It's 3-2.
Nice now job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfect. Now One down. Jay Mack will hit next. He's already homered in this game. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Ripped into left center for a base hit. Well, Singy, he no is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Stepping in, Mark Vientos. Swings through that one for strike two. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The pitch. That's a little bit low. Movement in the bullpen. Connor Brogdon preparing to come on if needed. Marte warming up as well. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. The next pitch misses. Full count now. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Now the left fielder, Ryan Clifford. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. One out. The go ahead run is at second. Pickoff throw, and they tag him out. Well, you take a tie ball game into the ninth on the road, you know that you've got some work to do. You've got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the W. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.